Hello everybody, it's the Worm. I'm back. Back for some more VLR. Last time we got to the control room for the annihilation energy, which is a... Uh, <laughs> it's a strange thing to just say, you know? Uh, but uh, we solved the escape room, or I did. And uh, I was able to do it all in one episode. And <clears throat> I didn't feel like I was rushing, so overall I think that was a good, good, good escape room. Let's, um, let's move on, shall we? Uh, do, 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 do. Which one was which? I got blue first last time, right? At least I think I did. Oh, wait a second. That's not... So wait a second. So did I got the secret one first again? What was the puzzle? What was the what did I even do? Um, I... It was the thing with the USB stick or whatever, wasn't it? What was even the puzzle? I don't even... I don't even remember what I did. You, you put it... I put it with the uh, clipboard and then I just put it in the computer and I got it? Huh. What... For the people who, who played the game, what, what was the puzzle supposed to be? Because I, I, I just did it doing random stuff. Huh. That's crazy. I think this is the third time I've gotten the secret one before the, the actual regular password. I remember I did that in the lounge, and where was the other one? The security room. The, whatever that was, yeah. I got the password uh, in reverse. How, I can ne why can I never remember the green and the blue? It's it's always uh, green for the regular password, right? I, I never remember that. First we got a map. Floor B. Also, I keep meaning to, I keep meaning to, because a, a few people have now told me at this point that it might be okay to read the gold files. I keep meaning to do that, but I've been, I keep forgetting to do that. I'm gonna, maybe I'll do it now. Let's, hang on, let's finish this scene. <laughs> okay. Whatever, moving on. Our next prize is, let's see. Hey, we got our key cards. Go for it. it looks like a calculator. What is that? No, it's just a keypad, keyboard thing. Yeah. And a cable. Uh, we can worry about that later. Might as well take it with us for now, though. And finally... The key. Yeah. Hmm. 
Maybe there wasn't a puzzle. Maybe it was just trial and error. But that seems a bit odd for for, uh, for the game. Let's go. Lock open. You found it. Why, thank you. An Ambidex gate has been opened. So let's let's see. Let's at least look in it at an example. Um, there's a lot, actually. Yeah, someone mentioned this one, which you know I have. I have played another VN where, oops, oops, didn't mean to click, didn't mean to click there. Um, I have played another VN where these feature prominently, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware of those. Uh, surely, surely page one, they're the early ones, right? Let's, let's just click one. This is where you play the AP game. It appears to be an elevator car. Elevator car? Elevator car? Is that what they call those? I just call it elevator, the elevator. So is it the box? The whole the whole box is called an elevator car? That's interesting. I don't know if I've heard that before. There are six AB rooms in the warehouse on, the, on floor A. From the left, they are referred to as the first, second, and third. Well... Considering what we know now that one of the elevator cars was moved, that's interesting that they're bringing attention to that. The interior of the... Yeah, so, so we know like... Uh, so let's say elevator car six, the sixth, was moved to be next to the first. So we know that now. Okay, the interior of each room is identical to the others with a voting device on the wall and a hatch on the ceiling. Now is this... Yes, okay, so this just takes you to the next one. It's not that it's not that one thing will have multiple pages. They're all, they're all just a single thing. Um, AB gate. This refers to the door of the AB room. Most elevator doors open horizontally, but this one opens and closes vertically. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. I, I maybe they mentioned that. I don't remember that. Most elevators also include a safety feature that prevents the door from closing if anything obstructs it. Obstructs it. These doors have no such safety feature. Ooh, gotta be careful. Um, I okay. So I that does show me that it might be all right not to. It might be all right to look at these. I'm. I'm morphogenic, of course. Morphogenetic. Is that different? Was it just morphid morphogenetic? Morphogenetic? Didn't it used to be morphogenic? Or am I just remembering it correctly? I might just be remembering it correctly there. Morphid for some reason my my memory is saying morphogenic, but this is morphogenetic. Morphogenetic instead of morphogenic. I'm sure there I I'm sure I'm just remembering that wrong. Um Ah, aha, here it is. Several of the hallways on floor B use special locks indicated by math. Arrows on the far side of each lock is a lever. Pulling this lever, you unlock the locks. Once this has been done, you can explore the area, entire area at your leisure. So not exactly as clear as as the people commenting made it for me. Uh, one, uh, you know, but but there we go. So that, that there that is. Um. Well, considering what what we've been talking about, that's interesting that that's there.
Ice nine, of course, of course. Um, if if there's any you think, I, I don't think I'm gonna sit here and read all these right now. There's quite a lot. If there's any of a specific one you think I should read at the moment or would be appropriate for me to read right now, let me know. Otherwise, I kind of feel like just saving them for later. Like, if there's some critical information I've gotten wrong or have missed that is in the secret files, you know, let you could let me know and then maybe I'll take a look at it. But uh, I don't really feel the urge to sit down and go through all of them right now. I, I do, and I, I I will say that I intend to eventually do that. I, I will go through those files, but for now, I just kind of want to keep going with the game. Uh, let's let's keep going. Forty-five minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh my goodness! I didn't. Uh, I didn't take that in. My goodness, they're going quick. Huh? What's going on? Maybe someone from another team opened one of them. Now I forget. Um, it's only. Do we know that we need to be there for for the Ambidex game yet? Remember we had this whole issue down here where Dio started an Ambidex game before everyone was ready. But he and his group didn't get the information that you're punished if you don't have at least one person from the group of three there. Did we get that? So I, I don't think we got that information yet. They must have found a moon card. Why the hell would they just go and open one of the doors on their own? We should get back upstairs. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse. Like, it still makes sense that we'd want to rush there, but um, I don't think they know about the punishment yet. Right. Okay, let's go. Let's go see what's going on. Actually, I should probably write this down real quick. this down real quick just because I should I should at least make the attempt um, okay we found a keyboard keypad what, what would we call that keypad thing in the annihilation room okay it has a cable on it Let's just mark down that we found it there. Okay. We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Tenmyoji, Dio, and Clover. Dio again. Hey! What the hell is this? Why'd you open one of the AP rooms before the rest of us got back? Clover and I haven't done anything. Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. Dio again. So he, he did the same thing as last time. <laughs> You got a problem? Yes. Yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was a common sense. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. What if they can't get back in time? No sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. Something happened. Yes. It's Quark, you see? He... Uh-oh. So is this just... Now that it's... Hang on, hang on. Let's actually see what's going on. What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching so, our room. So, okay. So what's the... The timing, I, I feel like the timing's somewhat different, but but is it always Quark and then Alice get Radical Six? Is that what we're discovering here? 
Because now this is the third timeline where this is happening, right? And it always seems to be Quark. And then, at least in one instance, we think Alice... Well, in one instance, we know Alice got it, for sure, because we used the scanner in the infirmary. But in the other instance, the one where she was stabbed with the knife, we saw that one brief picture of it where it looked like she stabbed herself. S someone told me that all those different uh, <clears throat> black and white images may not necessarily have been the same timeline, so that might not be what happened, but at least at the moment, it's my conjecture that it appears Quark and perhaps Alice are always going to be getting Radical Six at some point. So how does that, how does this dang disease work? Do, are they already infected and it just emerges after a certain amount of time? Hmm. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Tenmyoji shoved Kay aside and looked through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks and then ran off after him. Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Tenmyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? <sighs> then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. <laughs> Great. Great idea, Dio. Thanks. You son of a bitch. This is serious! The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. Oh, but we have a doctor. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got Luna. Luna? Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. <laughs> so that thing can tell us what's wrong with Quark? Yes. I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. Hey, we've seen this scene before. The whole process only took a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds his results lit up on the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Uh, before she spoke, okay. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called... Radical Six. Have you heard of this virus? Radical Six, I mean. Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. Dio and Luna were two of the first people to investigate the infirmary. They must have seen the newspaper clipping that Quark found. I'd stayed behind after the A-B game, after, and after they'd all split up and gone in different rooms. It seemed like, one way or another, everyone had heard about Radical Six. No. He can't... How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible! Have you heard this track before? Sounds, uh, this music sounds new to me. Hmm. I 
like it. Hmm. Something about the tone of his voice seemed strange. Why wasn't it possible? So do you know more about Radical Six than the rest of us, Tenmyoji? Yeah. Had Tenmyoji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we could do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Well, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. And we didn't go into the lab this time around, right? So... I don't think we know of any right now. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but Eo's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? You mean in the control room? All that had was a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. I don't think anybody would put medicine in there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the archives. Books and so on in abundance, but no medicine. Oh, God. Then he's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? Someplace called the Bee Garden. Oh. We've been there. It was kind of like a park with trees and stuff. Yeah. But... No medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants? Tenmyoji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Uh-oh. Here we go. Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... how? Like... this! Quark's hand moved like lightning. He'd grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight toward his heart. Stop! No! Let go! Let go of me! <laughs> Pretty tough for a kid. Hey guys, I could use a hand here. Uh, yeah, right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Now let's see, is this going to play out exactly like the other time this happened? Tinmyoji, what the hell are you doing? Get over here. Tinmyoji, can you even hear me? Oh, right. Damn you, bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Jesus, this kid's lost it. Hey, somebody get that scalpel away from him. Good. Thanks, whoever that was. Uh, it's gonna be Alice again, isn't it? Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we gonna do? We've gotta calm him down somehow. Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? There's Soparel Beta. Soparel? That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... 
Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay, let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right! No! Stop! Stop! <sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. All right. I guess we're good for now. Yes. What about the anesthetic? Have we even seen Alice since we walked in? Walked into the warehouse? She was with... Was she with Kay and Cork? Because it was Phi, Luna, Sigma, Tenmyoji, Dio, Clover. So what, it was Kay, Quark, Alice? And yet we've not heard or seen her at all yet. How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> that the truth? Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes, at least I think so. <laughs> so what kind of virus is Radical Six? What are you doing? Here we go. I turned and followed Tenryoji's gaze. Yeah. Is this is this skippable? I apologize. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that until now. I don't know. I was just thinking there was going to be I just was thinking there might be something different and I just ended up Reading. I, I should have just skipped that. I'm sorry, people. We already saw that. Okay, no one's here, huh? Damn. Where did she go? No point in complaining. I just needed to look elsewhere. I turned and headed toward the exit. Yeah, I should have. I should have. Should have realized that it was repeating the same thing a while back. Sorry about that. been here yet. So this is the archives, huh? Okay, Quark and Alice search this room. Damn. Nothing here either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If she loses it like Quark did and nobody's around to stop her. <laughs> Shit. I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden where Clover, Tenmuji, and Dio had gone after passing through their door. Yeah, that's where we found her last time. Be 
garden. But where is a garden? Presumably up above, right? The first thing I noticed, uh, can I just skip? No. First thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere. The air was filled with the fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet, dry tones of dead leaves underfoot. Well, the air outside had been dry and harsh, and here it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. Just like Clover said, plants and stuff everywhere. I walked slowly down the path, slightly still stunned. Most of the facility had been cold, dull metal, but this room was positively verdant. Man, hard to believe there's something like this in here. What the hell is this even for? As strange as the garden was, Alice needed to be my priority. I reined my thoughts back in, and continued down off the path and into the grass. I'd only gone a few steps when I stopped short. So it's the same. Yep. Alice! Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Then she's uh, alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. So she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Anyway, mm. we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. R right. Wait, hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Just stay calm. What? Look to the right. My right or your right? Your right. Oh boy. That wasn't there last time. That's uh, bomb number two. Okay. W what the hell? This, this is a bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different okay, bomb. Okay, hold on a sec. So what was, what's, what's different now? Because this was not here the last time we saw this scene. That's here, right? So, who went to B Garden? Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio, right? They went to B Garden? But the thing is, even if we don't go to... Wait. There wasn't a bomb in this one, right? So, when we go to crew quarters, afterward there ends up being a bomb there. But then when we go to Bee Garden ourselves, there isn't a bomb there. But when we don't go to Bee Garden and someone else does, there is a bomb there. Okay. Oh. Look at the number on the side. It says 01. The one in the crew quarters said 03. Shit. There's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a 02 bomb out there somewhere? I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That must mean we're talking about an explosion the size of three tons of TNT. Yeah. Clover, Who said it? Tenmyoji, and Dio investigated the garden. Yeah, okay, so she's she's asking my question here. There's also a chance someone else said it. I'm gonna think maybe someone else because we went through the crew quarters and none of us, at least. Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know. Because someone could have just entered afterwards, so it's. It, 
I don't know. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Anyway, we need to move Alice. Help me out here. It was, it was, it's the old woman, of course. Alice was lighter than I'd expected, and Fi and I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk, brisk trot. Oh boy. More bombs, more bombs. How wonderful. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? It is still so surprising to me that Alice has managed to... She's, she managed to wear an outfit that is more scandalous than um, uh, Lotus from, from 999. Like, I feel like the, the game developers were... That, that might have been their intention. They were trying to one-up themselves here. My goodness. Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Yeah. If I had called everyone else back after I had brought Alice to the infirmary. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no, no! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. It's a special antiviral treatment. <clears throat> Whether or not there's any around here, though. No! No! Oh, Alice! I don't want you to die! Please! Please don't die! I don't want to be alone! Don't die! <laughs> Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. None of us had the heart to pull her off, so all we could do was stand and watch uncomfortably. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Whoopsie doopsie. All players, please enter your votes. Yeah, good work, Dio. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. Of course the voice, the PA system doesn't mention that, uh... If none of the three vote, you'll get punished. <laughs> what about Alice and Quark? I guess we're just gonna have to leave them behind. No! I'm not leaving! <laughs> Clover. I'm staying here! Like heck, I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! Hey, Clover, what's your brother up to these days? I feel like if Snake were here, we'd have a much better time. He's, he was a smart guy. He, he'd be able to figure a lot of this out pretty quick, I feel like. She's going to be fine. I gave her some Soparil. She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Whatever. She can do what she wants. <laughs> I huh? see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. So, yeah. You get an easy decision if she's staying here. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally, which I don't think I need to mention would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Whoa, what are you saying? You think I'm gonna choose Betray? Yeah, I do. Am I wrong? Yes, of course I'm gonna pick ally. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice, right? No, I won't be going. I can't leave Quark here when he's like this. Of course. I'll be staying, just like Clover. Hey, come on now. What is this? Knock it off, Dio. Well, this is a good opportunity. We get to see Dio, you know, his behavior when he's by himself. But of course, he knows we know we'll, we'll be aware of that. So, you know, that'll, that might influence his choice. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? Why are you so suspicious of me? Um, yes? What if Dio stays behind too? If Clover, Tenmyoji, uh -oh. and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies, uh -oh. right? Uh-oh. Oh, you don't know? Here it is. Know what? This. You didn't find a note like this one? Huh? Wait, what's this? We found it in the archives. Well, there sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. We didn't find one in the control room either. 
Did we tell them about the bomb yet? Hmm. Apparently only the Archive had one. <laughs> what does it say? Why don't you read it for us, Sigma? Well, I guess. I took the note from him and, still slightly confused, began to read. <laughs> Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not a option. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. You see? At least one member of each trio must vote. Otherwise... That means Kay has to vote. Quark and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three of them are screwed. Wait a second. Kay's got six BP right now. His opponent is gonna have to default to ally. That means if Kay chooses betray, he's gonna have nine points. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Oh, give me a break. You expect us to just swallow your bullshit? Oh dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has one BP, don't you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break their walls. I am not so desperate to escape that I would be willing to kill. Therefore, I will definitely choose ally. Indeed, I really have no choice. Unless, of course, I wish to become a murderer. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. We don't have time to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? Huh? It means this! Oh, my goodness. I've never seen someone move so that fast before, let alone someone as old as Tenmyoji. In a blink of an eye, he covered a few feet between himself and Dio and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. <clears throat> what the... Grandpa has moves. <clears throat> Dio fell to his knees, wheezing for air. Huh. Tenmyoji waited for half a second to make sure he was down, then turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover! B but You and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP, just like Alice. Interesting. So long as Tenmyoji doesn't vote, Clover's only choice is to choose Ally. Oh boy. Now we get to see Clover's character. Mm. Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are, are you saying you trust me with your life? That's about the size of it. What the hell are you standing around for? Get! You don't need to worry about Al. I'll keep a good eye on her. I promise. Now get moving! You still don't trust me. N no, that's not it at all. I trust you. Three minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. We need to go. Come on. Okay, take care of Alice. She'll be fine. Hmm. That seemed to finally satisfy her, and we were off. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through doors and tearing through rooms on our way back through the warehouse. Let's get it done. Everybody ready? Yeah. You've all got a moon card, right? Yes, we do. Good. Then let's go. Four AB gates yawned. Wait a second. Didn't the didn't the the one secret file I read? It says it opens and closes vertically, but they just... Okay. Uh, is that referring to something else then? Huh. Okay. Sorry. That just seems strange. Why it would be written that, and yet they open horizontally, not vertically. Hmm. Okay. The fifth one, the one Dio had opened, stayed empty. The sixth, which would have been Alice's, remained unopened. Kay and Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right, and Luna and I headed toward our own. Hold on a minute. 
What is it? You're going to choose ally, right? Yeah? Why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? Sure. I promise. Cross your heart. Cross my heart. You're going to be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. Phi frowned, but said nothing. And disappeared into her own AB room, second from the left. We're currently at... We start with three, right? We betrayed Alice, so we went to six. So, I mean, if we did betray, we'd be at nine, but... Yeah. Lou and I nodded to one another and headed for the last, door, last one, the leftmost room. Yeah, we're gonna hit Ally first. I'm not going to betray Luna until I absolutely have to. Yeah, that is that is not vertical. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Closes. What are you going to do? Oh, we're, we're with Luna. We're not. <laughs> sorry, I was confused. Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose ally. Yes, but Phi has six BP. If she betrays us... Yeah, she'll have nine points, I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? I... Okay, so we're talking about Phi, not Luna. I, sorry, I, I got it mixed up in my head. Um... It's your decision, Sigma. Well, thanks, Luna. I'll be in the same position either way. <laughs> I wonder if there's ever going to be an instance where it's not our decision, you know? What? You have 6 BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi, and she chooses ally... Then I would have 9 points. Yes. You see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. 20 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. That's it. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. Are you sure this is okay with you? Yes. All right. I turn to face the machine. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What am I going to choose? Nine, eight, seven. Ally or betray? Six, five, four. This is impossible. Oh, come on. Three, two. Cutting it a bit one. close, Sigma. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pick Ally. Yeah. I want to trust Phi. I really do. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Okay. And we're going to have to see the results of that next time. Okay. Just kind of moved along. Sorry about the... Uh, I could have skipped quite a bit more than I did, but I just was not paying attention, so sorry about that. In any case, uh, we got an extra bomb than we did the other... Alice route. Um, so that's certainly significant. One extra bomb. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to think about what that means until next time. So I hope you're all doing well. And uh, tune in next time for some more VLR. See you then.